Hello! After finishing part 1 of my introduction to Daegu Travel, I will begin part 2. If you haven't seen part 1, I recommend watching the part 1 video first. Second Suzong Mot Lake in Dilangjol. It is a waterside park, and is mentioned in the hotel section. There are many restaurants so you can enjoy a variety of meals. And I recommend taking a walk around Suzong Lake. The musical fountain show at Suzong Mot Lake is also worth seeing at different times. So you can watch it while walking, or if you are at a restaurant overlooking the lake, you can watch it while eating. Near Suzong Mot Lake, there is an area called Dilangjol, where Daegu's largest restaurants are concentrated. It is a place that locals often visit, and all of Daegu's famous restaurants operate larger scale stores on Dilangjol. So food and restaurant lovers will have fun trying out a variety of foods. For transportation, take monorail line 3 and get off at Teshigi Suzongwat Station. It is also in a very convenient location. Third Apsen Mountain. These days, it is the most visited place by locals and it has become famous for taking pictures in front of the rabbit sculpture at the observatory. There are two ways to go up, by cable car or by foot. Although it is not a high mountain, it has a steep slope, so those who like hiking can reach the top in about 40 minutes. You can see the view of Daegu at a glance, and the observatory is one of the prettiest places with many cute sculptures, as well as a rabbit sculpture. Transportation is located in the center of Daegu. But there is no subway, so we recommend taking a taxi or bus. If you mention Apsen, most drivers and locals know it. So you won't have any inconvenience while moving there. Fourth, Dong Songro. It is the largest downtown in Daegu and has numerous shops and various restaurants, making it the most visited place by young locals. Especially in the evening, the club alleys are well developed, so if you like clubs, I recommend going to Dong Songro. There is a large US military base in Daegu, so there is no wariness towards foreigners, and there is a lot of consideration and kindness so you can enjoy it safely and have fun. I will. As for transportation, since it is downtown Daegu, you can think of it as the center of all public transportation, including subways and buses. Fifth Shopping Paradise. Daegu is a city with the largest number of department stores outside of Seoul and is also a city that is serious about shopping. In Daegu, there are department stores of major Korean companies such as Shinsige, Lot, and Hyundai. And their scale is quite large. First of all, Hyundai Department Store and Lot Department Store are located in Dongsonggro. So if you are looking around Dongsonggro, I recommend going to Hyundai Department Store. Shinsuke Department Store is the second largest department store in the country and is located near Dongdaegu Station. If you are staying in the area, I recommend you to visit at least once as it is the largest facility. There is a lot to see, eat, and even shop it is one of the department stores most visited by locals. In addition, there are large discount marts such as Imart and Homeplus in any area of Daegu. So you can buy or browse local food products at low prices. Sixth River Information This is also a waterside park, and as it is the largest waterside park, I recommend taking a walk or renting an electric bike and driving for an hour. 
There is a subway station on the outskirts of Daegu, but if possible, I recommend using the subway and then transferring to a bus or taking a taxi. I recommend this place to those who have time to spare. Seventh same day visit to out of town areas via train and bus. As mentioned earlier, Daegu is a city with a very developed metropolitan transportation network. Therefore, the historical city of Jiangju can be reached within one hour by car. So you can arrive at Jiangju within one hour by bus from Dongdaegu Station. Anyone planning a trip to Korea has probably heard of the city of Jiangju at least once. You can think of it as a city like Rome in Korea. And because it is the city with the oldest history, many tourists visit. There are many famous hotels in Jiangju. So it is recommended to stop by for one night or two days. If you take a bus from Dongdaegu Station early in the morning in Daegu, you will be able to see all the major tourist attractions in Jiangju on the same day. Daegu locals also tend to go on day trips to Jiangju because it is close by. Even Busan can be reached within an hour from Dongdaegu Station and Pohang. The closest city by sea can also be reached within an hour. Although they are both maritime cities, Busan is a city with a glamorous, Hong Kong-like feel. While Pohang is a place where you can see a typical Korean maritime city. Although it is not developed. If you go to Pohang, I recommend going to Yeonggilde Beach, which is famous for its grilled clams. Pohang is also recommended as a day trip from Daegu, and locals also often go there on a day trip. In Busan, we recommend going to Hyundai Beach and Gwangali Beach. In most cases, when you want to move from Daegu to another area, it will be convenient to just think of going to Dongdaegu Station. It would be convenient to remember that from Dongdaegu Station, you can go to any area except Jeju Island. Lastly, there are places where you can experience Buddhist culture such as Dong Wasa, Temple in Gadbawi Rock on Paogongsan Mountain. But if you are a local, I recommend you to visit Yunheza Temple. It's the place I love the most. And the good air and natural scenery are so nice that even locals don't know much about it. And it's also one of the places that only I want to know about. Because it is a suburban area, you can only travel by bus. And you can easily find the bus service by searching. Based on downtown Daegu, you will arrive in about 50 minutes. Once you arrive at Yunheza Temple, I recommend taking the course to Unbum Temple, so if you get the chance, I definitely recommend going, I guarantee it. Lastly, there are various tourist attractions in Daegu. But as a person who likes to travel, I recommended this destination considering fatigue and travel routes. It is said that time is money when traveling. So in order to show you the best places with the least amount of movement, we have introduced only the surrounding areas and highlights. Above all, as mentioned earlier, Daegu is not a tourist city. So it would be a good choice for a stopover. If you like its, this is his parents still live in Daegu. So you can easily find them by searching. And you can easily make a trip to find traces of this school and other places, however. The reason why I recommended this travel destination is that, if you are planning to travel to Busan after coming from Seoul, I recommend stopping by Daegu for two days and one night or three days and two nights. Then you can see a lot of the cities around Daegu. 
Korea has very good security and is a tolerant country towards foreigners. In addition, the internet infrastructure is very good, so free. Wi-Fi can be used for free on public transportation and in large parks. Daegu is also a very large city in Korea. So it has good infrastructure, so don't worry, I recommend staying at least two nights as a stopover. I will end this video by cheering you on on your wonderful trip. If you travel to Daegu after watching this video, please leave a comment. Then, when I have time, I will treat you to some chicken. As a final recommendation, I recommend watching baseball. Daegu is home to the Samsung Lions, a prestigious professional baseball team. I highly recommend cheering on the Samsung Lions while drinking chicken and beer at the baseball stadium. If you get off at Grand Park Station on Line 2, the Samsung Lions baseball stadium will be right in front of you. Thank you for watching.